Uh, what's up guys? This is the Broken Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, uh, the garrison of Petrovskaya is trying to sally and break the siege. However, I'm afraid it will fail. Let us destroy them. They have one artillery piece. They have lots of infantry, but we have lots of artillery which will shred them to small pieces. Then once we take Petrovskaya, there will only be three Russian cities that are currently that actually will oppose us. And one of them is Moscow, and we are advancing on them in considerable strength. Um, but before we, go, before we go crazy, let's make sure we win this first battle. <laughs> without well, I was about to say without too many losses, but actually I don't think the number of losses actually matters a huge amount because we've got so many troops that we can bring to bear. Let us form our battle line. Tell me, so let's check my line infantry. So if I do one, set one unit up. Two units of Kizobashi, and next unit. Three units of Hindu Musketeers. Ooh. That's quite handy. So I can get two units of artillery in the line and keep them very well secured. That leaves me with my great guns and one battery of 12 pounders. They can focus on counter battery off of the bat. Keep one infantry unit back just to cover that flank. So now, well actually I've got four units of melee infantry. One behind each gun, at least. Get my Gurkhas out on the flank. The bulk of my cavalry can afford to be on the flank. Keep, keep my skirmishers back, just to provide a bit of mobile firepower. So these gun teams here... Engage the enemy units with shrapnel fire. The gun team back here. Excellent. Great gun. Shrapnel fire is still too... Shit, it's too shallow, effectively. The Bjorni Strozzi are charging, and they're charging the Hindu Musketeers, so preemptively form square. New chaps try blast the 92nd with shrapnel. Miss, miss, miss. Good stuff. Fire put onto them. You might have to canister shot Siberian hunters because canister shot is a little bit more efficient at short ranges. Trap them at point blank range. That saw them off. Men can get out of square and importantly, we do a bit of this. Get my Sapahi involved. Actually, no, you don't have to worry about my Sapahi, my Gurkhas can deal with them. Put my Lancers against the Dragoons. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to focus more of our artillery on this right flank. Get my... Get my, get my skirmish cavalry out here. Okay. I 
literally see if I can get my man through the gap. Camel mercenaries are the best chaps to have that one about. Commit my... Come on, get through the gap, because then I can send my Gurkhas wherever they are. My melee right flank can, keep, can start pushing. Push my camels through. Switch to canister shot. New main canister shot on this flank. Yeah, they're forming square in response to my kind of cavalry charge, but that's why I've got my melee infantry going in as well. Yeah, my lance has gone for the general's bodyguard. My camels buy some time against the guards to the west. Gunners are bugged. Garrison, militia, and line infantry. So we're buying a bit of time. If you can knock out bodyguard, that would be ideal. Skirmish cavalry, get around on the flank, fire some shots into them. Commit the Islamic swordsmen. No lances. Keep going after the general's bodyguard. See if you can kill the general's bodyguard, then you'll go after these guys. Okay, let's begin. Actually, you're, you're alright. There you go, my camel's broke, unsurprisingly, against such a large adversary. Against such a, a large amount of good quality infantry. Human shrapnel shot the mass. If we can kill their general, that would be a significant boon, but it looks like we're not going to get him. Okay, let's get these melee troops over here as well. I can push my regular troops up to engage the masses. Okay. You guys should be you're using your bow fire against the 67th, the 76th. Human charge into this massive blob of troops on the flank. Excellent. So all my musketeers form ranks. Melee infantry form up. You can continue to pursue and destroy the enemy, especially the foot guards, as there aren't many of them. So you go after the line infantry. Okay, there we go. Gunners on the hill. Smash the 30th, even smash the first. Push you guys up, blank. That unit. Okay, now these melee troops haven't got much of a chance to do anything. Neither has my general. Actually, my native lances go for the infantry. Everyone else is currently reloading and engaging the 30th because they're, they've bought time for their force. It's 
should probably finish them off. Taking too long. Seat Warriors smash the fifth. Store map. Smash into the first regiment because they're already upset. Melee brigade also push up. Looks like lots of. There is a lot of upset. Let's get all my guns. Engage the 31st because they're already complaining. That unit has shattered massively, which is beautiful. Excellent. A lot of artillery fire. Yep, round shot across the board, please. Artillery, they aren't going to be a huge problem. Bit of friendly fire there. But make sure you guys keep attacking the enemy reinforcements. There they go. All my fires going against the gun team. So we are going to continue just to make the follow-up engagement less of a big deal. Okay, you've got them. I mean, it's probably going to be an auto-resolve, frankly. But, better safe than sorry. Excellent. Smash, smash, smash. Good. Get over here and help this unit. Although they are going to escape anyway. What a pity. There's another unit that's just escaped. So let's see if we can gang up on the 30th Regiment foot and annihilate them. Possible, because they keep running around in strange directions, which will give us enough time to get my other cavalry to bear. There we go. Come on, destroy them! Destroy them! Yes! Put them to the sword! Put them to the sword. Excellent. Yeah, that's definitely going to be an auto-resolve follow-up action. Oh yeah, New Spain. They've been up to no good. And they've been causing lots of problems. Well, causing lots of problems. They tried to attack that one territory of ours. Which is currently... I mean, it's stable, but... You definitely want those reinforcements. Pretty ricky tick. Don't worry, Württemberg and Dagus, that you will all get your chance. Trust me. Trust me. This little things will be fine. You will have more than ample opportunity to try and handle what's coming your way soon. Once we take Russia, everything's going to... I mean, it's going to cascade pretty pretty rapidly. Workers on strike in Sweden. Understandable. Okay, so... First of all... I don't know why I only took one out. I should have taken two out, so I could leave one in. Yes, yeah, so we need to start the transfer of troops for the Americas. We do not need all these armies here just to finish off the Russians and mop up uh, Württemberg, Dagestan, Bavaria and Britain, frankly. Come on.
Okay, so first things first, before we go too mad, let's get our building done. Being the, the well-meaning colonial conquerors that we are, we invest in our colonies. Yes, we don't want to cause people problems. We want to bring wealth and jobs and so on to our subjects. So, over here. Sir. You're reinforcing, probably getting troops from somewhere else. You know, a lot of you guys can just head up this way. We are not in a position to... <laughs> everyone crashed into everyone because they're all trying to take the most efficient routes. Okay, let's just... Mass recruit sick traits. You're definitely going to auto that engagement. Yep, the enemy... Does not deserve a full battle there. You chaps replenish. Repair the government building. Repair the port. Yes, sir. Two turns away from Archangelsk. Although well, I could potentially have loaded them up and then set, transferred them by ship and sped it up. But whatever. One turn away from Komi. You're still replenishing, and then around, I mean, around Moscow. We've got a, some units back here. Yeah, they're a bit spooky. Yes, but frankly, we are in a position to set up our troops and assault Moscow. And I am more than happy to load this up with way more troops than I need. So let's not go mad in terms of picking who we're going to get to do the action yet. You can probably... Interesting about where you're trying to get to, because all these guys are in good condition. Maybe you were the one that was trying to get to this fella. But you and you can come down to Crimea. Where you men may or may not attack. You men may or may not attack um, to the west. You may actually help secure Patras. Although we've got an army here. That should be fine. Oh yes, and Portugal. I mean, this is going to be fun. But I'm imagining these are all... They're quite heavily depleted. Um, but before we go crazy, let's just... Uh, Let's just do this battle. Yes, so I'm probably going to want to attack with... Yes, this army be the funnest, sir, but I'm anticipating lots of casualties. So let's go with an army that's a bit <laughs> blander. Because, yeah, they're bringing up a lot of reinforcements. Let's get to it. What I'm probably going to want to do as well is make sure to add... Make sure that, generally, I don't care what they bring in, I just don't want artillery. Because once I blow some holes in the walls, I am not going to want any more. Well, I mean, I would. I mean, more would be good, but... Yeah, but you, you guys know what I mean. I don't need loads. Like, once these, once these four have created a series of breaches, um, they are probably going to, well at least two of them will uh, limber up and withdraw the other two may limber up to be closer and just try and shred the breaches with shrapnel shot and grape but even then that's kind of unnecessary I'm probably better off just making them withdraw either way I want to see some slaughter going on here this is going to be one bloody battle and I think that is fitting for an engagement of the capital of the Russian Empire an empire that we have been engaging for weeks now. Weeks and weeks. Maybe yeah, more than a month, probably. <laughs> more than one. But anyway, let's not go crazy. Let's get set up and get ready to uh, take some losses. 
we're going to breach every section of the wall that we can. That's going to be my objective. I'm not just going to make one breach, I'm going to make four. But I'm going to try and breach this section, this bastion, this bastion, this section. Which probably necessitates splitting my artillery force in half. Not making any specific decisions on where anyone's going. Same with the cavalry and the general. Mortars aren't within range. Ooh, 12-14% right off the bat. One place I definitely want to secure is this Bastings. If we can knock out... Well, if we can take this feature, cross over, and secure a game, that's our fifth way in. I'm hoping after they've gone and tried to protect each of the breaches, we'll be able to scale up with melee troops, clear the walls, and potentially put our... Probably our million desert warriors up here. I think I can say relatively safely speed things up because sometimes the guns can screw up when I do that. They're doing good. Their their counter battery from the walls is not doing very well. Cossack infantry. But what I definitely want to do is send one unit up to secure as many sections of the wall as I can so that when the enemy reinforcements show up they will not be running straight in. They'll have to come in through the breaches or conduct their own assault. So once we've... Well, ultimately, once we've created our breach then we're going to start um, advancing and that's when the mortars are going to start doing work so we're going to need to try and attack all sections at once I think this is gonna this is gonna get nasty whoops they're both on exactly the same yeah sadly if we destroy this it doesn't take out this walkway because you, all you get is like holes through here. One more volley. And it would have been more efficient to assign one battery to them and another battery to making holes in these bastions. Okay, now. Now it is time to do what would have been more appropriate to do at the start of the battle, and that is to divvy up resources. The so one's going to go here, one's going to go there, one's going to go there. Both the militia units, well, actually one militia unit's going to push either flank. Same with the cavalry. They're going to push out wide on either flank. And frankly, I don't know why I'm walking the infantry. They got to run. Belayne have to secure a section of the wall. Set up our killing zones. Mm 
as a warrior's go secure out there. I think you're probably going to do the same. Go for that feature. Yep, here comes the quick climb. Here comes a regiment of foot. Kozak infantry. So as we push in, we're going to want to keep people behind to secure the wall. New men fire it will off. One of these guns is going to attack ground in the breach because they're all here so you may as well keep on doing that let one gun attack the wall no i don't want to sit here doing nothing but if we push Push those Sipahi in. Okay, we are attempting to push through here. Get over here at speed. Unsurprising that they were trying to go after my militia warriors, but I just want my militia warriors to keep getting up here. I don't mind if they die. Both of these gunners need to switch to trap the shot and just smash these units. No militia, don't try and come and help. Your job is to get up here. My heavy cavalry are more than enough to deal with this. This be damned. It switched around sharp. Continue attacking the breach. Men push across, engage these Siberian hunters. They're doing it again, look. They're, they're going, no, we want to fight. It's like, no, run away. They're still doing it, look. look. It's like, no, stop fighting. Get up the wall. That's what I want you to do. Not anything to do with what you think you want to do. Now is the time. To be honest, I should just be doing this the whole time. I've got buckets of troops. Why am I trying to save people? Especially there. The, the, the problem with that is my horse grenadier guards are actually gonna. I give you an order just to run across the top. It's 
continue with you guys. Run across and secure. Okay, let's try commit or recommit. Let's bring you guys up here as well. Come on, you men. Run across the wall. Secure the gate. See, they're still doing it. Because they, the gate is... Because the gate's open. They think, oh, we can run across it. It's like, no. Not interested in that. Next thing, you men... And... Get hold of... Get hold of her. Pull two units out. Let my Belain get in there. Get my general up here as well. And then my Belain, you guys get stuck in. Native Lancers get over here. You guys just ignore them. Just climb up. All my guns limber up. Get them to book it. No. Oh, my fellow heat, yes. This already, see if you can get into here, into the barracks. Excellent. Cavalry get in. Fellaheen. Quite handy actually, their um, reinforcements are going to come in behind us, kind of. So even if they kill my cavalry, I don't care. Tipahi go for light horse, my horsemen go for their guns. Light cavalry are bro broken on the flank, but that's okay. You men just run in. could flank around to the back of the 57 that would be ideal if you can just kill the last of these gun crews that too would be pretty great yeah my gunners are fleeing we're getting serious chug because we've got plenty of action in the breaches. I mean, it could be less, because we could be getting. But you men, there's enough of you here now, you should run over the top. Let's get some men in the center. Secure the last bridge out of town. Mercenaries coming in behind us. Where are our infantry reinforcements coming in from? Get them in. Come on, you men, come across. Get my Serrati back over onto. Get over into the centre. Go on, my general. Kill the bodyguard. Oh, Tata coming in. These guys are screwed. They're going to get charged in the rear and it's going to be ugly. Pull my fellow Yin out. 
and my kids will bash you continue to push. Get some more men over. So it's this breach really we need to cover. Keeping the count going. Just where, whatever direction they're coming from, make them run into the center. Charge them in the rear. No, it is over here we need to get to. Be a nod to my general. Get over here. There's a militia. Also get over here. There is nowhere anyone else needs to get to except from inside. Because if my guys break, which it looks like they might... Native warriors have been intercepted. Whoosh! They've got 29 seconds to interfere with our master plan. Do not let them. Which I don't think they. I mean, this is this will have been a lot quicker than I anticipated, because we managed to successfully. We will have successfully managed to block their reinforcements from getting in. Okay, I didn't. I anticipated something a bit more bloody than this. I admit. Oh, you actually broke as well. See this? Oh, this could have gone. Could have gone wrong. May still go wrong if they're not quick enough. No. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. <laughs> well. Sometimes I get comments from people asking me to play the game, quote, properly and be efficient. That's playing the game properly, I suppose. I went in, secured the center, tied them up enough that they could not withstand us. Well, there we go. Recruit a general from this Israeli unit because they're very experienced. Oh. You try and assassinate that general. Got him. You try and assassinate that general. 26%. Hey, you also did it. Uh, yeah, to be honest, we haven't really got to fight most of the other Russian actions. Um, next turn, Comey's ours. Turn after next, Arkhangelsk is ours. So in the grand scheme of things, we can kind of chill out. So you guys come down to Crimea. You guys come down to Crimea. You guys go down to Cherkask. You guys come down to Crimea. Got a lot of cover around the city. So much so, I don't think we need all this much. So, when we start to deal with Dagestan and these other scallywags, we kick off war with, in the, with the Inuit, the Pueblo Nations, Quebec, Greece, Bavaria, and the Iroquois, which isn't a problem. What about you, Württemberg? You have no friends. So you could also be an option to push and destroy. Particularly if the Cologne garrison can leave the city. Good, 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 good. I mean, Bavaria will fall really quick. You no longer really need a garrison. Let's get you over to here. Rather than going up square up against Bavaria. Hmm. 
mean, I don't really need to run everyone to in Petersburg, but that looks like that's where right they're gonna go. Just keep mass recruiting, I guess. And if you're being destroyed, let's hit enter. They may attempt to take Moscow back, and I know there's an army sat next to it, but in two turns, all of those troops are gone. So it makes sense to just kind of wait and let let the turns tick over, let battles against minor Russian armies take precedence. Oh no, they cancelled the, the, the dismantling of the school. Hey, that's cool. They raided the building, and then they left my... My rake there as well. I didn't realize, didn't know that was a mechanic. Uh oh. I just remembered we've got a whole bunch of fleets that in the Eastern Americas that I didn't move last turn. Hopefully, none of them are super weak and vulnerable because that would be unfortunate. I'm not a war. Okay, phew. Phew, phew, phew. Okay, right. So let's deal with those fleets immediately. Because I know I've already got some. Some might have since come across now as well. But I, that I already have more. Yeah, so... I may as well just land these, land these and allow my, well, I to land these to create a more traditional, oh, you need to be high turning it around there, land and create a more of a traditional front line. Because later, other fleets will arrive and they can land on the coast as we push. So we don't care about the port. Yeah, a whole lot of fleets are arriving. And we have not got many great places to stash them. Okay, I think the safest thing to do is, dis is to... So I want to disembark a bunch of them in Newfoundland because we they, these can be the troops that are responsible for invading northern or the northern United States. Okay, good. Okay, so do do do. You men, get on board. Yeah, you can make it all the way over to the Americas. You still need a garrison. Let everyone else keep on heading to the right locations, although you are actually ready. Uh, yes, Iceland. Forgot that you existed. Okay, before we get too mad, let's just let everyone with the diplomatic relations thing pops back up. There we go. Very friendly with the Iroquois. Denmark. Trade partners with Britain. Okay, right. Well, we're going to declare what? Okay, we're going to declare war and we're going to send a sixth rate over to secure Iceland. Yeah, 
They've got ships in their paws, but we don't really care. Next turn, we will be able to siege the capital of Denmark. <laughs> Which is not very big. They don't actually have that much. You're still replenishing you. So if I move them by ship now, it wouldn't actually save me a turn. It'd still take me a turn to get over there. There's no one at Komi, so I'm just going to auto that. Apart from that, everything looks okay. You guys can raid, I don't care anything. I don't really care about what's going on there. So the main thing is, what I want to do is effectively pick on Dagestan. Because then that means we can deal with everyone else. Good. So now we're at war with Dagestan. We can go through you, right? Yeah, they weren't going to stop us. Excellent, we've got a lot of troops, but I think we're going to be okay. Just want to make sure I'm doing all my... Getting everything done I need to do. So you're besieging them, you... Can siege. I mean... <laughs> I'm probably going to... I'm not, I am going to fight that Patras battle. That's for darn sure. Um, Bavaria we're at war with. I mean, yeah, look. Very weak units because they can't afford to maintain any of them. But I'm pretty sure that's... I mean, apart from... Over here in the Pueblo's yes, Nations sir. peoples. Let's just set a bunch of these to start... Maintaining siege. There we go. Yeah, there's the Inuit as well. Land off of the coast. And Britain wasn't involved. Dagestan's got the Northwest Territories. A war with the Iroquois, a war with Quebec. So Quebec itself isn't going to be... Is it going to... Are we going to drop an army off there? I think we might, actually. Because you can go after York Factory. That leaves one spare army and we can land it land on the coast and push down towards Quebec from the north. Oh hey! How cute! Yes sir! Then where is the ship? Oh that's where the army is. But if we knock out Dagestan first, you guys become pirates, who we luckily become at we're still at war with, so it's not as if we're going to create any problems for ourselves. But let's send two armies this turn. Let's try and send off two armies a turn. Because then that gives us sort of a rolling set of reinforcements. Something like that. Okay, so we've got a lot of battles we need to do this turn. Because we'll probably... Well, we either fight them this turn or we get... Um, <laughs> sallied against next turn. So what I'm going to do is, because the turn limit's quite small... Well, not the time timer is quite small. I haven't got long left. Let's fight this battle against... Actually, Bavaria is probably the best one to do this time in this time frame. 
because that will be swept. That will be done very quick. So let's go take Bavaria. So we're going to fight a lot of the battles I've set up. We are going to fight before we end the turn because it is in our interest to end them sooner rather than later. Some of them we can't help, such as the Inuit. The Inuit will come out of their city to attack us. Um, so we just need to form a solid defensive line. We need to assault and capture the Dagest the capture of Dagestan. So that, that army in the northwest you know their colonial holdings doesn't screw with us. Well, this is a bit of a kick in the knackers. Set my guns over here on the right. My infantry avoid the city. Except for... Nope. My infantry avoid the city. My melee troops and elites go for it. You guys can clear it out. All my mounted elements stay mobile on the right flank. I mean, they've got a, they can have a cute little army. That's a lot of cannonballs coming in. Ah. <laughs> uh. Broken, shattered. Let's retarget some of the guns. Brave, but foolish. Charge me again. I dares you. You must get tears for the square. The Kizobashi are no slouches in combat. They're going to go in and back them up. In go the melee troops. In comes the mounted element. These poor grenadiers are going to get hacked to pieces. All of my infantry. Swarm! I'm sure my Kizobashi on. I don't know if fire it will on. This guy, this, is, this horse artillery unit, oh, there, there is two guys. The other guy's on the horse. German Schwein! Gurkhas to go after the 9th Regiment. My cavalry can deal with everyone else. Go on, 9th Regiment. Let's see if you can do it. Let's see. We've lost two Gurkhas. They're confident. 
wavering. They've lost... They've lost five guys. But no, they've lost Friedrich, not Hans! Yeah... No... <laughs> Sometimes the AI just can't afford to... They can't afford to keep any armies. Hey, who's that? Grandma's bodyguard. Go kill that German. Oh, he's charging into battle. Brave soul. And the front of his unit as well. Here comes my raider cavalry. We got the general. Here come the Gurkha boys. I forgot about their reinforcements! Oh well. Let's go. Da -da -da. Kill all of my gunners. You can have them. Kill them. Kill them all! See, my gunners are gonna survive, it's fine. They do like going off to Kizilbashi, that's true. Let's bring my Kizilbashi cavalry over. Bravely charge into the slaughter. See, you cannot stop us. You know, my men are going to join you. I suppose there is their actual reinforcements coming in. I forgot about their reinforcing army. Kill the first horse. Oh dear god, bring in the elephants, bring in the sapahi. There was bodyguards already routing. So let's assume they come back in. There we go, all of you go after the Hohenzollern. Pikemen and you guys. Pikemen. Nice. Interestingly. This actually may lose us the battle. That is very interesting. Although, let's see if we can test this out. Will they... okay, they do... okay, they do respond to charge orders against the units stuck at the edge of the map, which is promising. Because without artillery, we can't do the attack ground, destroy them, bring in the one behind trick. Interesting. This may well actually lose us the battle. Losing our artillery may cause us to lose the battle because their armies are not entering the field correctly. Because I don't think you guys are going to do the job. I think if I, could, if I run you guys into them, say so physically make contact with the model, Interesting. 
Curse the artillery! I'm fairly sure that does mean we lose. Because we attacked. And because we attacked, we aren't... The onus is on us killing them within the time limit rather than them just rather than them surviving interesting what i'm going to do is i'm going to let the timer expire and see if that's what happens so see you in a second everyone biggest big brain ai movement kill the artillery and then just refuse to enter the map <laughs> so that does result in a loss as expected, because I was the attacker and I failed to win within an hour. I didn't lose all my artillery. But I'm not gonna... Yeah, no. Blech. <laughs> Big brain AI. Make you still suffer for this. Uh, but bravo. Bravo on the AI. Good manoeuvre. It was my fault, really. I did forget entirely that the AI had a reinforcing army. Right, so let's call in 24 pounders for support. You're still in really good condition and can move up to the Württemberg border. Let's get rid of this university. Let's upgrade some of the industry. We'll replace the university with a, a religious building and begin converting some people. Um, but what I'm probably going to do is hop over to actually first upgrade a couple of these bad boys well then let's go over to here because this is what really needs to happen i need to attack and secure the city of Taki, which could be quite sporty because you've got lots of infantry coming in melee attack six melee defense 14 so they are better in melee than our troops. This could get a bit dicey. Um, but we're going to do things a bit intelligently. Hopefully. But anyway, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of Dagestan. Cheers everyone.